What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you like to travel and take pictures while you're traveling, these cases are gonna definitely interest you guys. And if you're interested in any of these products, check out the links in the video description below. So I'm gonna start off with the Rhino bumper case. This case is very cool because it keeps your phone looking slim and shows off the beauty of your expensive phone. For the S9 version, you can't switch out the back covers. On the iPhone version, it is modular. You can switch out the back cover and use the camera lens. It gives you a really great protection. It has more of a plastic feel to it, not so much of a grippy rubber feel. Uh, the buttons are easy to press, the power button it is, and the volume rocker a little bit stiffer, and the Bigsby button easy to press. The back bumper right here, you can see that it is elevated, so if you drop it flush on a tile or a hardwood floor, it's gonna protect the back glass same as the front glass. You can feel that elevation right here. And on the sides, it gives you a pretty solid feel right here as well. The ports are opened and you can easily plug in to charge, no problem. And of course you can use wireless charging as well. I do wish they have more of a rubbery feel to it because I like to really grip my phone. Uh, on a table, it does slide on the table doesn't scratch your screen because on the top and the bottom it is elevated I'm gonna be doing a giveaway contest if you're interested in two of these cases I'm gonna be giving away either the carbon fiber and the bumper or I don't know whatever one you, you decide I kind of like the I'll, I might keep the carbon fiber for myself I'll probably give away the bumper and the flat black if you're interested in that giveaway check out the details in the video description below so let's go check out the flat black case and as you can see it doesn't show any fingerprints which is nice put my phone in now the case these cases are very tight on the phone extremely tight on the phone so the power button once again easy to press volume rocker harder to press and the bigsby button pretty easy to press on the bottom you can easily plug in a power adapter no problem does it work with wireless charging let's see Yes, let's go ahead and take this off and I'm gonna show you more about the camera lens. And we're gonna put on the carbon fiber one, which is one of my favorite ones. Right here. And once again, this is very similar to the flat black one. You press the button on the power button, it's very clickable, the volume rocker, a little bit stiffer. Uh, Bigsby button, it's clickable. The carbon fiber look, in my opinion, is better than the flat black, but that's all preference. Rhino Shield claims that they can uh, handle drops up to 11 feet, no problem. I did check out some of the reviews on Amazon, and there was one post, someone left a review saying there was a crack in the corner of their case after they dropped the phone, but their phone was unharmed, and the case is still usable. Let's go ahead and put the lens adapter on. Now, the difference between the Rhino Shield case and the Moment case is the Moment case has a built-in lens adapter right here. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing because uh, a couple of reviews on the Moment case claim that the lens adapter on the Moment case ended up being damaged after a while. So taking on and off the lenses numerous times will eventually wear out this lens adapter that's built in and then you have to spend another 30 35 dollars for a new case the rhino shield cases are same price uh, around 30 to 35 dollars but the difference is that the lens adapter is sold separately and i think that's a good thing in my opinion because this lens adapter is only five dollars and if it does get damaged then you can replace it and only spend five dollars versus the 35 or 30 dollars that the case cost you so you just simply lay it down in there push down it has a little lip and it stays in there really well you can see that i can't shake it out see it stays in there pretty well snug go ahead and insert my phone there we go now what i really like about the rhino shield camera lens is that it's for one it's cheaper but it's also two in one. You got the wide angle lens and the macro lens all in one. So it's easier to travel with, in my opinion. Well, obviously, because it's smaller and it's two in one. Similar design as the Moment lens. 
You can see the wings right here on the edge and you just want to line it up like so and then twist. Now once you do that, you can't access the fingerprint scanner. So you're going to have to use the pattern lock or your facial recognition or iris to unlock your phone. Now to get to the macro lens, it's very smart design. You just twist and then there you have your macro lens. And your wide angle lens, you just twist and then you have your wide angle lens. Take out the moment lens. You can see there's a big difference right here. So look at that. So the moment lens is a lot heavier and bulkier and bigger. Let's take out the cover so you can get a better idea. I have here is my mount. I'm not going to move it. I'm going to put my um, moment case on and I'm going to put the Rhino Shield case on with the camera wide angle camera lenses. And I'm going to just take a picture using the wide angle lens and see which one takes a better picture. For the moment case right here, I put that on. This has more of a rubbery feel to it, more of a grip. Uh, the buttons are more flush, but they still you can feel them no problem. This is clickable and the volume rocker is pretty easy to press. So the buttons are a little bit easier to press on the moment case and the case is uh, more of a rubbery type feeling than uh, versus the Rhino Shield case. Now I got the canvas black. It's a real canvas right here. Or you could get the um, moment case with the wood insert. So let's go ahead and put it on the wireless charging dock. And as you can see, it works with the wireless charging dock. But right here on the bottom, you get a little bit more exposure. There's no protection, something to think about. For protection, I say the Rhino Shield case is a lot better protection. Um, for a grip feeling, I think the Moment case feels better in the hand. It has more of a rubbery type feeling and doesn't slide so much on the desk. It does have an elevated lip right here in the corner and right here in the corner and right above here. And there is a concern about this lens adapter being built in because once that gets damaged, then you kind of out 30 to $35 for the case. But with both of these cases, similar designs where you can attach your lens and twist and it locks it into place. Um, you can actually take the Rhino Shield lens and attach it to so it'll probably avoid your warranty if you damage this insert. I wanted to show you that um, the Moment lens does attach to the Rhino Shield case, but once again, you, you'll probably avoid the warranty if you damaged um, the lens adapter. But this lens adapter is only $5. So I'm gonna use my measuring tape right here and give you an idea how wide the pictures are. So from the table to the lens, I got about 10 inches. I'm gonna lay down the measuring tape. All right, so now I'm gonna take a picture. So it looks like the, um, picture reads 20 inches. So if you're taking a picture from 10 inches away, I can fit in an object that's like 20 inches wide. Now I'm gonna take off the lens. And so now from 10 inches away, it'll give you about 13 inches. So that's a big difference in my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and swap it out. Uh, put on the moment lens, the moment case, and the moment lens. The wide angle lens for the moment case. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it tilted my, it's so heavy, it actually, it's tilting my phone. Definitely a big difference in weight. So it's pretty close. It's almost identical. You get to fit about 20 inches. Now, the Rhino Shield macro lens, I can tell you right now, is times four. Now, the moment macro lens is times 10. And we're gonna take a picture right here. All right, and if you remove this and take a picture and put on the Rhino Shield case. Now you got pretty good results on the Rhino Shield macro lens. So what is the better value? Obviously it's going to be the Rhino Shield, even though the cases are at the same price as the Moment case. If you damage the built-in adapter, then you're not going to be out $30, $35 for that case. You just replace the $5 lens adapter. And this camera lens is two-in-one and costs way less than this $100 wide-angle lens and this $90 macro lens. Together, it's $190 you're spending for two lenses. 
and they're kind of big, bulky, and heavy. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that likes to travel and likes to take pictures while they're traveling, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. If you're interested in these products, check out the links in the video description below. Those links support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. If you wanna to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more videos like this, go ahead and click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other videos, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching, bye.